Since his earliest releases in 2008, Tyler the Creator's left a unique mark on hip hop, and he's continued to evolve over the course of his solo projects, flaunting his standout production ability, thanks to a keen ear for certain sounds from across the pond. I just lurk music a lot. Like I wake up every morning and spend two hours listening to music that I've never heard before, so. It's no secret that Tyler pulls from a range of influences to create a sound. Over the years, we've seen that range expand, pulling inspiration from a number of British artists. His albums have always boasted a range of styles and genres, but Flower Boy was Tyler's first foray into letting melodies take the front seat. My goal with this album was to shut the fuck up and let all the features be the leaders. But I want to shut up and just let the string section be two minutes at the end. On November, he pitched up his vocals to emulate Tracy Thorne, lead singer of the English duo Everything But The Girl, most known for their hit Missing. Night and day. I just put that ref there for Tracy Thorne, but I, I never went through with it because I just was like, I just want to finish this album. I'm, I'm over it. I, I feel defeated. Fuck it. I'll just leave my voice there. And that's, and that's what that is. Some of the synths for Flower Boy were created by using a Roland Juno 60 and a Yamaha DX7. 80 synthesizers like this one also laid the foundation for English acts like Billy Idol, Rod Stewart, Eurythmics, and one of his favorites, Gary Newman. Tyler praised the creativity of those artists, crediting the minimal production, saying, quote, I used a lot of those keyboards on the last album and it gave me sounds that I've never had. Some of those sounds, as cheap as they are, they're just so rich because they have so much texture and personality. Run it, run it, run it. I rock, I roll. Tyler's love for chords and melodies is already apparent throughout the album, but with the help from singer Rex Orange County on tracks like Forward and Boredom, the Englishman sets the stage. Find some time, find some time to do something. Find some time, find some time to do something. Slotting Rex into Flower Boy made sense for Tyler, because when it comes to loving chords, Rex and Tyler share that affection. In an interview, Rex said, quote, Me and him definitely have a shared passion for certain chords or melodies. That's how we were able to bond. Even though he's a great artist and a very famous person, when you're in a room with him, you realize he's just a human and everyone's doing the same thing. I know I probably sound like a broken record. Chords, 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 Tyler, chords. Like, that's all, but that's the shit that I care about more than anything. Rex isn't the only English artist on Flower Boy. On Garden Shed, singer Estelle assists Tyler with soothing vocals. So when I, I wrote the parts, figured it out, and I was like, Estelle would be great. Yeah. And with her little accent and just her tone over this. Two years later on his number one album, Igor, Tyler's admiration for 80s British pop showed up again, taking notes from mainstream bands like The Smiths and The Style Council, and lesser known groups like Freeze and Lynx. So this is romance. They've been together, through thick and thin. The 80s is becoming my favorite time. Not just music, but Overall, Overall, and I, I used to hate it, but now it's slowly becoming my favorite because of the sector of music mm -hmm. that I've like, I found over the years. While that 80s sound made its way through the album, Tyler even dipped back a decade earlier into the 70s, sampling chord progressions from the English band Czar on Puppet. With all the love for older British pop sounds, Tyler brings it full circle by featuring the more recent rapper Slow Tie. When Igor dropped, there was some confusion about who provided what vocals where, but Tyler confirmed that Slow Tie appeared on the heavy distorted synth track What's Good. Over the 
years, Tyler's relationship with the UK has taken a turn. In 2015, he was banned from entering the UK due to his lyrics, specifically from 2009's Bastard and 2011's Goblin. Back then, Theresa May was the Home Secretary and used anti-terrorism legislation to ban Tyler. The official statement said that his work, quote, encourages violence and intolerance of homosexuality and fosters hatred with views that seek to provoke others to terrorist acts. But now, May's out and the ban has been lifted. Tyler laughed it off, saying, quote, she's gone, so I'm back. Tyler's last UK show was in 2015, but the love never wavered, and London fans flocked to see Tyler strut around in his blonde wig for the Igor tour in September 2019. We'll see if Tyler continues to add British influences into future tracks, but for now, drop your favorite UK collab in the comments. I'm Delisa with Genius News, bringing you the meaning and the knowledge behind the music.